The Industrial Revolution began in Britain around 1780. It fueled the creation of modern capitalism, and with that, feudalism declined. Widespread credit, economic success, and investing all became common. Many important inventions came out of the revolution as well, helping to advance technology, transportation, farming, and promoting leisurely activities. Factories became very important at this time and were at the heart of the, of the revolution. Abundant natural resources in Britain aided greatly in the success of mass production. Let's start off by talking about some of the three most important inventions that came out of the British Industrial Revolution. The seed drill is invented by a man named Jethro Tull. It was a device that planted seeds evenly and efficiently. Previous planting methods involved throwing the seeds randomly, and for obvious reasons, this yielded far fewer plants. This invention kicked off the agricultural revolution, which was then the head of the industrial revolution. The industrial revolution that began in Britain was spurred by a revolution in technology. It started in the textile industry, where inventions in the late 1700s transformed the manufacture of cloth. The demand for clothing in Britain had greatly increased as a result of the population boom caused by the agricultural revolution. These developments, in turn, had an impact worldwide. For example, the consumption of cotton rose dramatically in Britain. This cotton came from plantations in the American South, where cotton production skyrocketed from 1820 to 1860 in response to the demand from English textile mills. The steam engine was invented by three British men. Thomas Savory, Thomas Newcomen, and James Watt. Watt produced the final design of the engine based off of improvements he made on the previous designs by Savory and Newcomen. It was then developed into a locomotive, which was used to transport raw materials. Eventually, the trains carried people, too, to and from their work in the city. Factories were at the heart of the Industrial Revolution. They made everything that the revolution accomplished possible. The first factory was in Derby and was highly successful, employing a vast amount of workers who had their own jobs over a set amount of hours. The new norm was radically different from the old ways, where the middle class and lower middle class would have slaved in fields for an undetermined amount of time. These people now have a year-long job with a fixed number of hours, often doing the same repetitive job over and over again to produce materials as quickly as possible in the name of mass production. At the time of the Industrial Revolution, there were very few laws passed by Parliament to protect the worker. Changing laws were also difficult since factory owners were often members of Parliament and unwilling to pay for their workers adequately or bend to safety standards. When people were working in factories, they became part of a community like we know today. From sports to listening to the radio to tea time with friends, so many leisure activities emerged during the Industrial Revolution. From music to card games to circuses, there were always things to do. Sports became very popular. Cricket, rugby, tennis, bicycling, and golf were all sports that started to emerge during the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution witnessed a large growth in population in the industrialized cities. Cheap homes were needed to, for workers. The community grew just as fast as the economy did. More work meant more people. Although there were many immediate effects of the British Industrial Revolution that were negative, such as child labor, dangerous working conditions and living conditions, and poorly designed cities, the long-term effects were largely positive. Society adjusted to industrialization and used it to improve society. Mass society was established, and literacy, entertainment, and leisure activities increased. Many jobs were created because of the industrialization and growth of factories. Because of mass production, the overall wealth of Britain increased dramatically. As reforms began and workers formed unions, working conditions improved, wages improved, and working hours were shortened. As the development of cities caught up to the flow of people and urbanization, there was a dramatic rise in the quality of living. There were healthier diets, better housing, and cheaper goods. People could afford goods that were previously luxuries. The British Industrial Revolution also led to the industrialization of the United States and continental Europe as industrial ideas spread. The British Industrial Revolution immediately changed society, perhaps negatively, but it led to further industrialization and future reforms, changing Britain and the rest of the world for the better and leading to the world we know today.
1780. It fuels. American cell. We're cotton produced skyrocketed. American cell?